what you're going to see in this video is the fact that we've been lied to for so long and we've been lied to about so many different things that people don't know what to believe anymore people don't know how to react people have no clue what's reality they think they know what's reality they think they see what's on the TV and they think the news is showing them what's real and what's happening out there but it's not that's fake that's as fake as WWF wrestling and I'm gonna show you an event in our lives in recent history that is just a huge example of how they fearmonger and they keep us in the dark about everything the audio you're about to hear is a 911 calls during the Columbine incident. All right. Got the shooter. He's up on the top of our. They've got the shooter. They've, they've got the shooter cornered. He's on our football field behind the shed on the back half of our school. So he's in the back half of the school. Yeah, he's in the back of the school up on the football field by the shed. The police can come in and get him at the back of the school. Take note of the photographer taking pictures while the event's going on. This is not a real world situation. This is a drill. And just like the Giffords event, here we see the lack of blood also at the scene and on the victims. And the lack of blood on the EMS workers' hands, bodies, gloves, clothes, anywhere. Walking wounded, please. They, you know they escorted everyone out of the building into the ambulances. This is a scenario. See any blood? See anybody crying? Anybody screaming? In pain? Suffering? Any blood on the EMS workers' hands? Any blood on the stretchers? No. This is a stage drill. Now listen to this next person when he talks about twins, because this will become important later on when we discuss the Greenbergs. Oh, but wait, it gets worse, much worse. We're going to talk about some of the victims and who they really are, and if you've seen them lately. The next one shows a body being dragged, which is not actually a body, it's a dummy. They're dragging it so nobody could see it. We have been trying, if you, uh, you could see on news tape, if you repeated it, that somebody from an ambulance dragged a body out of the school. Uh, it couldn't have been one of the killing students because they didn't have their uh, uh, long black tapes on. Okay. And you can't even imagine uh, that it could be they were dragging a dead teacher or a dead student up, but they were dragging this body out down the steps uh, across the, the grass by the body's feet. Okay, now that's desecration of a corpse for one thing. It's interfering with a crime scene for another. Uh, it wasn't like they were trying to remove, or the coroner was trying to remove a dead body. 
or an ambulance was trying to remove a, an injured person. This obviously was a dead body. And yet we don't know that. And the police were on scene when that happened. Uh, well, okay, let's assume that was a dead body, because I can't imagine that they would be dragging this man by his feet. You may recall, if you have a good memory, the reports of multiple bomb squads at the scene of the Columbine shooting. Oh, we're over the west side of the high school right now, and you can see not one, two, but three different bomb squads are here, and the Boulder bomb squad is due on scene momentarily. Also, reports of NATO troops there. Anthony's. There are a number of police officers here, at least a dozen at one time, just here to do what they can do to see if there is any help needed. The doctors and nurses are standing by here ready for anything, and we understand that people who are not working are calling in to see if they can help. So Swedish Medical Center is getting prepared for the worst. So just like we saw with the Giffords event, it's a multi-jurisdictional drill that has multiple agencies that take part in this event, and they do the role-playing throughout the day. That's why this thing took like four hours for it to get finished and that's why they had people all over the school doing different events and, and throughout the whole thing instead of having like a one team for an extraction and get the kids out and then to go after the uh, the bad guys so you can see that again this totally is in line with a, a regular full-scale event or full-scale exercise in this clip you will see the police on scene and the SWAT team that's on the roof along with a person that is their evaluator. The evaluator is going to carry the clipboard and is going to mark down the event as they go through their proper training procedures and he will document it. He's one walking there at the top of the screen. You'll notice how calmly he's walking. He's not concerned because there is no shooter. He knows this is a drill. He pulls out the pad and he begins to take his notes. Again, this proves that this was a drill. But for those that don't believe, there's more. Much, much more. Rachel Joy Scott was said to be the first victim of the shooters at Columbine. You might recognize her, though. This is her as a baby. This is her a little bit older. And here's a video of her 